Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome to my channel. This is just me, super hyped to finally be leaving the damn homeless shelter, like, and move on with my life and get out of New York and on to bigger and better things. I'm leaving today. I'm leaving. Well, I'm leaving the shelter, so. I can see. We're getting packed. Grab my shit. And I got some orders here. Take them out um, when I leave. And yeah, I'm gonna go to my friend's house for like two days. So I've also figured out where I'm spending the next like two, three months of my life. I'll let y'all know when I get there. Um, it is international. I definitely decided to leave the US. And like I've never moved out my mom's house. This is my first time moving. It was definitely my first time moving out the U.S. Or, you know, especially for an extended period of time. So, I've already booked everything. But, like, it recently dawned on me. I'm really just booking shit. Like, I'm not taking into account, oh, like, can I get my international? I really, I got to think about a whole bunch of other things. But I will tell you this much. Like, it just feels really right to go to the destination I'm going and i'm gonna go with the flow kind of person you know i'm water so i'm gonna figure it out i know god got me my faith really be set different like i don't think i, I feel crazy sometimes because of how divinely led i be feeling and so i'm just doing what feel right to me like i i told a couple people what i'm doing where i'm going where i'll be and they're like, so you tired of the US, so you're going to this place. It doesn't make sense to them, but it makes so much sense to me. Like, I'm very impulsive, very spontaneous. And I don't like living a mundane lifestyle. Like, like it doesn't make sense for me to remain in New York, expensive as New York, in the fucking city. Like, that's just not me. I'm a nature girl, you know? So. I got this oyster mushroom burger and some carrot cake and sweet potato fries from Veggie Castle in Queens. It was so oh, good. Oh, it's a double patty. That's what they did. I didn't know I ordered that. This is really just me reflecting because it's crazy. Like, family will really do you the worst sometimes. So, I don't know. It just kind of messed my head up, like, thinking about how they treat me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. <laughs> so, now I'm about to do a little bit of laundry. I look so very colorful. But I really was not trying to like dig in my suitcase. Plus, also, it's my last day in New York and I really don't have much clothes for 40 degree weather because everything is in my storage locker. So, but it doesn't feel that cold, which is good. So, I just want to do this little load of laundry so I can go to Georgia with some clean clothes. And. Yeah, and then your girl's out to the tropics. We out to Central America. It's fucking lit. We getting our locks done today. Actually, no. I've had my hair colored in so long. I feel like myself again. Don't talk to me.
just to let you guys know, you're able to bring like tasers and knives and pepper spray, all of that. You could bring all of that on the plane. It just has to be on your checked bag. So, I actually ate some shrooms before coming into the airport, <laughs> and then them shit's gonna hit when I'm on the plane. So, let's see what the world looked like from the sky. So, I had to check two bags, because one of my suitcases is just all my work stuff, and I can't bring that in a carry on anyways because it's pliers wires they're gonna be like this bitch trying to kill somebody on the plane and so and then i have my other suitcase they mad extra like my big one was 59 and the other one was 40 pounds i was like you can't just act like that nine pounds is in the other suitcase no ma'am you have to go and move your stuff into the other bag mad extra but also, if I'm being honest, JFK is like way too big to not have one vegan restaurant, like just all vegan. Buffalo wild wings, chicken burritos, no. Oh, so cute. Time feels really long when I'm on shrooms, so I was getting so impatient and just wanted to take off already. about my shrooms experience on the plane it was so cool like it was really dope i i like shrooms because i get really deep into my mind and i just really explore my mind and it's just dope so it was really cool to just vibe out also just on the plane it was just a really dope experience 10 out of 10 and um the only thing is like I was still high when we landed, so going through Atlanta's really big airport, I was kind of overwhelmed. I was like, I was still vibing, but I was just like, there's a lot of people, there's a lot going on, and I just didn't want to be high in the airport. I don't know. Maybe if I microdosed, I never really microdosed. That was kind of like a microdose. I never like weigh it. I just be like, mm, just a little bit. That's really irresponsible, right? <laughs> I just be having a good time. <laughs> like high on the plane, cool. That was cool. So I would do it on like a longer flight, like if I was going to Asia or something and it would like wear off before I landed. So 
Yeah. Um, I was on the phone with my sister the whole time, just going to the airport so I could find her or whatever, because she was picking me up. And that's where I've been at my sister's house now. And then next stop, oh, next stop, <laughs> next stop, somewhere in Central America. I just gave you, oh. wow, but yeah somewhere in Central America. So subscribe and put the little notification bell on so that way you can see where I'm at next time.